What's up guys? Welcome back to Project Time Garage. On our little Project Dotson here, he came with these mirrors, but these aren't the factory original mirrors. I think this is something that may have came out of like JC Whitney or something like that at one point in time. But our parts truck that we bought um, in a couple of videos ago, I'll show you that up there. They actually, it actually had this, uh, this set of mirrors on it. And that's one of the reasons I bought the truck. Probably can't see this, but right there on the back, it actually has Dotson stamped into it. Pretty cool find. So <clears throat> we're going to stick these mirrors on this truck and kind of try to figure it out. I know the top mount's pretty easy, but the bottom, I'm going to have to punch some holes in the doors. Hate to do that, but you know, if this truck had had these mirrors from the factory, the factory would have punched those holes. So is what it is. So anyway, let's, uh, let's jump over here and see if we can do this. It should be a pretty small and pretty easy project to do. So let's get rolling. I'm going to start over here on the passenger side. This thing just has Phillips or flathead screws in it. I don't know what kind of screws they are. They are actually looks like sheet metal screws, honestly. Oh, get this. oh boy. Pretty scary. Let me see if I can get a better screwdriver. I'm gonna to try to use a impact driver and try not to break the break the thing. If you've never used one of these before, basically you you tap on it or you hit it, and the force driving down actually forces the bit down and turns it at the same time. Pretty effective for stuff like this. And it actually has already done the job. All right, so there's that. Then for the top, they just hung a regular Phillips head screw in it. There, no mirrors at all. Well, the factory mirrors mounted a little differently. They actually have this hook here that goes over that goes over this, um, under the screw here. Thing is, I'm not real sure exactly how this is supposed to work. I'm sure there's supposed to be another screw that goes in here too at some point, I don't know. If I do it like that, then it's going to be crooked. The mirror is going to be really crooked. Well, here's where I'm at. I had to kind of massage this 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 upper uh, bracket down some because I really want to reuse as much as I can of this old hole. And the ori originally, the bracket was down here somewhere, so I figured it best just to kind of squish it up a little bit. We'll make that hole work, and then we will probably drill another small hole right here for, uh, for another little screw, just to make sure it's, it's doubly secure. Let's close the door and just see what it looks like. Make sure nothing hits. Actually, something does hit. It hits this, it hits this lip right here, this gutter. Obviously, this is where it's supposed to sit because this bracket is is perfectly aligned to the to this lip. Okay, Let's see where we go from here. I wonder if we can just put this wrench on here and just kind of bend it down just a little bit. If we can make it clear, I guess probably the best thing to do is go ahead and close the door and try to bend it down so that it clears. There, that clears pretty well, actually. And maybe we also run it back, just bend it backward just a touch, like so. Okay, there. Now, nothing's hitting. But I'm back to this, this, this lower 
hole not quite lining up. So here's what I did to fix that. Pull the mirror out, grab it like so, and just barely, barely, barely tweak it just a little bit. Set it back up there. That hole lines up. It doesn't hit the cab. Yeah, that's good. All right, next thing, let's go ahead and get the bottom of this thing kind of mounted. Uh, we're gonna do that using a riv nut. So let me grab one of those and I'll show you what we're doing. If you haven't used riv nuts before, they are these things. Basically, you drill a hole, you put this in the hole, you have a tool that threads in there and basically you, uh, it squishes all this stuff up and becomes like a rivet. This particular one is an M6 by 100. I went to my local uh, tractor supply, got some M6 by 100 stainless bolts, a couple of lock washers, and it should be good. So let's stick that in there and um, see what it looks like when we're done. So we had to pre-drill this hole, which is interesting. There we go. We take our riv nut and it won't quite fit in the hole. And the reason why is this requires a nine millimeter hole and an 11 30 seconds bit is 8.9 millimeters. So we need to waller it out some. Look at there, fits perfect. Waller is a technical term. It means to machine bigger. So we'll put our riv nut on the tool. Screw it all the way down till it seats. We'll put the whole mess in the hole and we will squeeze. Then we can unscrew the tool from the riv nut. And there we go. It's nice and tight and very much in there. If you do work like this and you don't do a lot of it, the more inexpensive tools on Amazon, riv nut tools I mean, will do you just fine. And I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for this tool. If you guys, uh, if you guys, you know, think you may want one. This one has worked really well for me. Uh, I've had it quite some time and I've used it a bunch. And of course, you know, I, I'm a hobbyist. I'm not, I'm not slamming a thousand of these things in a day. So this thing's gonna hold up for the rest of my life, hopefully. Also, um, there is a, uh, a, a collection or a, a kit of rib nuts that I've bought. And basically they cover from 8.30 seconds to, uh, to 3.8.16. Uh, on the uh, on the imperial side and then m4 to m10 on the metric side that covers just about everything i run into in this garage anyway so i'll also include that down there uh, in the amazon link should you want them it's a pretty cheap kit real cool to have in your toolbox anyway let's kind of put this mirror on a little bit more man gravity's really bad today keep trying to drop and stuff all right i'm not going to put my um my lock washer on yet because this is not the final installation. This is just a little bit more, you know, fit and finish kind of thing. I want to make sure I don't interfere with anything, make sure I didn't get the bolts too long, all of that mess. Okay, there we go. That actually looks okay, doesn't it? I don't really see anything wrong with that in particular. This, this bar here kind of dips down a little bit, but I really don't care. Um, I would rather have this bar dip down just a little bit rather than have to poke a fifth and sixth hole in this truck because there's already one, two, three. Of course, there was another one up here where the old mirror was. So the, uh, the door is full of holes already. 
I would prefer not to put any more in it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with that. So let's go ahead and mark this hole and get a riv nut in it as well. So I have my hole marked. At this point, it should just be a matter of pulling this thing off of here. And drilling where I just marked. A little bit more. There we go. Just kind of set it back over here and make sure that everything lines up. And it does. All right, there's both of them. We're going to take this mirror back off now. And I'm going to try to work on this ugly witness mark down here where the old mirror was, where all the dirt and debris had collected over time. Just going to use a little bit of soap and water here. Got to be careful. I don't want to wash the truck, that's for sure. Hmm. I'm just going to kind of smooth this around here with some really, really high fine grit sandpaper. And you'll still be able to see it some, but my idea is just to kind of make it maybe not quite so pronounced. It looks like they painted the truck with the mirrors on it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Just kind of feather it out here as we go. There, it's not as noticeable. And also, we're going to be wet sanding this truck at some point and doing some kind of like patina preservative type stuff. I'll probably end up using that um, the sweet patina that. Um, that you see a lot of people use. I know Puddin's Fab Shops use it a bunch. Uh, probably on some Dotsons. So, you know, being the Dotson king and all. Well, I think at this point we can go ahead and at least hang the mirror. I'll put this, uh, I'll put this top one in last. Now, we just need to work on tightening up the mounting. And now that it's rigid to the truck, that'll be easier to do. So we're kind of loose here at the pivot points. So what we're gonna do to help correct that is, I'm gonna try first to just take these things off and hopefully they won't break, but they probably will because, you know, they've been on here a minute. They feel like they're gonna break. I'm sure they're gonna. And if they do, not the end of the world. Yeah, it's definitely gonna break. I thought that was it right there. Yeah, there's no possible way that's gonna work. Actually, maybe it is. I think it is actually working. Well, I would have never guessed that in a million trillion years. You can see where that bad boy was going to let go, but it didn't. What I'm doing to fix this is it basically has this bolt and then a spacer that goes through. And I'm putting a 
um, a lock washer under this spacer just to give a little bit more bite and to take up a little bit more room. This bolt has stretched over time so much. And it would be easy to run up to the hardware store and grab all new hardware and acorn nuts and stuff. But I don't, I think it fits the truck better to have some of this hardware kind of look dingy and, and you know, like the rest of the truck, it looks like these mirrors belong here, in my opinion. So I'm trying to reuse the original hardware to the extent I can. I mean, obviously if I break something, then we're gonna go full shiny, but if I can, if I can save it, I'm gonna. I'm actually surprised I haven't broken anything yet getting this stuff out of here. Because it is ultra chewy. Oh, that's so much better. Nice and tight. Now I should be able to actually adjust the mirror and it should, should stay right there. Excellent. Well, now that we've done this side, the other side shouldn't be much of a problem. So just jump over there, knock that one out too. Now this mirror is not gonna fit quite so well because this top mount is bent completely and totally wrong. The reason why is if you remember, I had a strap come loose when I was transporting the truck, the old truck strap came loose and popped it. So it's not going to be as easy as the other one, unfortunately, but we'll get it. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and like I did the other one, I think I'll just go ahead and mount the top and we'll see, you know, what it takes to make it straight, I guess. Well guys, as usual, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, we have a lot more to do on this little Datsun 521 project. Uh, in fact, there's a whole series about the truck. I'm gonna link that up here above my head somewhere if you wanna see a little more about that. I've ordered a, a carpet set for it. I uh, ordered it quite some time back and they're, they were supposed to have shipped it 30 days, but I think we're coming up closer to 40 days. I think they have some supply chain issues. So we're waiting on those, to, or on that to come in. So as soon as the carpet comes in, we're gonna have a video of putting a carpet kit in this thing. That'd be nice. Um, anyway, guys, uh, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up down there if you like this kind of content. Uh, like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about us, and I'll see you next time.